So, you've been hacked, or at least you think you might have been. Fear not, because in this video, we're going to talk about everything that you can do to protect yourself. Now, we're going to go through this step by step as a guide. But first, I want to talk about how you might have gotten hacked. So let's assume you ran something like an info stealer on your computer, you get a fake error. And it's important to understand what happens next, because your data has now been sent to hackers. What kind of data? Well, it's going to be all the email addresses and passwords that you may have saved on your browser and your authentication tokens or cookies. And that data may soon be available on the dark web, as we can see on the search. So the very first thing you need to do to protect yourself is log out of all your devices. And this is really important to protect yourself because even if you have two-factor authentication, you still need to sign out everywhere. Because if you're still signing in, the hacker may be able to access your account without using your two-factor authentication or SMS code. And we're going to talk about this in a lot more detail. But instead of panicking and clicking a bunch of buttons, right now, I want you to calm down. We're going to go through a short presentation and do this step by step because it's very important you don't mess it up. And of course, to keep you entertained, I have the slides from Jurassic Park. So you've been hacked. First thing to realize is just knowing that you've been hacked before something else has happened is actually a good position to be in. A lot of people get into trouble because they instinctively panic. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Let me try to change my password. And by doing that, they lose control of their own accounts because maybe you don't remember the password. You start making mistakes and that actually helps the hackers. You want to be very calm and collected as you go through the next steps. And it's important to remember that you have the time advantage. The way most malware and hackers function, they're not just trying to hack you. They have a lot on their plate and it's going to take them some time to even realize that they've managed to get your details or your account information. And you're probably one of many targets they're tracking and nobody works 24 seven. So it could take them a while to realize what they have, do the research, do the digging up, collect the data, and only then will they have control over your accounts. So if you act in the meantime, nothing's going to happen, especially if you've just run an info stealer. You could completely secure yourself before the attacker even realizes that they have your information. And to accomplish that, we have a very simple survival checklist. And the first step in this is going to be to identify your critical assets. So get your pen and paper out or open notepad and start making a list. You want to start by things that are most important. And the top of the list is going to be your emails. Why? Because that's what you use to log into everything else. Because even if some other account is hacked, you can reset the password using your email. So think about your most important emails, what they are. For many, it's going to be Google, Microsoft. Maybe you use Proton, whatever it is. List your most important emails that you use in most places. And then any financial accounts associated with those. So things like PayPal, your bank account, any wallets or net banking features you use. And it's very important to have a think and make sure you don't miss anything important. You're never going to be able to fix this for every single site you've logged into. So it's important to know where the most crucial data is and make a list of that top five or top 10 things. The second thing you want to do is freeze and replace any credit cards or debit cards that you use online. Why do you need to do this, you might ask? Well, this is more of a precautionary measure, but it's still important because you're never going to be able to track down every single site where you may have used your card. So you may have used it to book a train ticket. You may have used it to book a flight, to book a hotel. And now if that hotel site is vulnerable and they have your email address and your password, they could potentially get your card data from that hotel website website. Now, most websites won't allow you to look at your card details, even if you are logged in, they just have it stored. So the worst case scenario is the attacker uses your account to book a hotel for themselves. But that's not a guarantee. It depends on the security of the website. So unless you trust that motel you used three years ago to have a secure website design, freeze your cards. Just don't take any chances. With most banks, it doesn't cost anything today. Order a new card and get rid of the ones that you're currently using, at least the ones that you use widely everywhere. Next, you want to start logging out of all your devices and change the passwords. And you want to start with your password manager, hopefully if you use one. And it's important to do it in that order. Make sure you're logged out first and then change your password. By that, I mean you're logged out of all other devices except the one you're using to change your password, making sure you have no other active sessions. And I'll show you how to do this. Google is the best. You just need to go into security and your devices and it's going to show you a list of everything 
everything that's currently signed in. So what you want to do is go through this list and sign out of everything other than your current session. So if you open this, you can just hit the sign out button and that way you have full control over where you're signed in. And you can make sure it's just this computer. Oh, and by the way, make sure you're doing this on a computer that is not hacked. So if your PC just got hacked, don't go and do this on the same PC because if the malware is still running on the system, you haven't wiped it completely, it could get all the new passwords as well. So go on your phone, go on a different computer that you haven't used and you're sure it's not hacked and use that for this step. Now, if you have a Microsoft account, you want to go in here again in security and sign out everywhere. With Microsoft, it's a little bit more messy how they handle accounts. It takes you up to 24 hours to sign out. So you might not even see the effects right away. So it's important you do it as quickly as possible. And once again, start with your password manager. Now, once you make sure you're signed out, you can go ahead and start changing your passwords. It's going to be a long, tedious process, but um, if you have a list, it's not going to be that hard. It's going to take you maybe a couple hours and everything should be good to go. That and new cards and your information is now useless to the attackers other than maybe as a future hit list. Now, another thing you obviously need to do is secure the computer where malware was ran. Assuming you got hacked by malware, you wanna make sure the computer is completely wiped. Don't take any chances. I wouldn't try any antivirus to disinfect it. Info stealers are very hard to detect. Don't open that system. If you know it's infected, just unplug it from the wall, cut the hard line as they say. Just use a bootable device, back up your data and start over from a new installation. As Arnold would say, it's just not worth taking a chance, John. Now, as we saw earlier, you can also check if your data has been leaked on the dark web with a site like Flare. So if we search for the pcsecuritychannel.com, we can see what pops up. Thankfully, we haven't been mentioned in any Steeler logs, but we can also look for forum posts, networks. This is all thanks to Flare, the sponsor of this video, which is a great website if you're trying to manage your dark web exposure or just explore the dark web. They can also um, monitor your entire company and alert you if something happens. So if you have an infected device, so for example, something like this, where we just ran Redline Stealer and um, the device ID has been reported on the dark web, it can let you know. So you could know that, hey, somebody in your company is infected with an info stealer and could be leaking a lot of data. They can tell you if you appear in a ransom leak or if there are chat messages in Telegram where people are talking about you. It's just a really powerful tool. Check out Flare using link in description. So you could get a trial and just do a search for your emails and make sure your data hasn't already been leaked. And even if it has been leaked, you can know what sites it's associated with. So you can then go and try to secure those accounts specifically. But I hope you found this guide helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and any your experiences with info stealers potentially in the past. Any tips I missed out that you think people should do? There's always something, but I tried to be kind of methodical about it and uh, cover the most important steps. I've personally been in that situation before where I've accidentally ran an info stealer or a friend has done something similar. And the most important thing has always been staying calm next six to eight hours and getting all the steps I mentioned done in an order fashion. Like I said, you have the time advantage. And if you don't squander it, if you don't panic, you can escape the situation with little to no damage. So I hope this gives you some confidence if you've just been hacked or if you've run some info stealer or you're worried you might have been hacked and you don't know what to do. Please like and share this video, share this information with as many people as you can because it's going to be very important going into the future <laughs> considering info stealers are the number one threats affecting users today. And don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel to stay on top of cybersecurity. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, Stay informed, stay secure.